so if I was to give you two tips about how to structure a CV, I think the first one is the most obvious one. Always make it relevant to the audience that you're aiming it at. The second one is, you know, what frustrates employers is reading something and being left with the question, so what? Right? If you read something and it says so what, you need to take it to the next step. So what? So this means I could do this or I achieve that. It needs to be very sort of clear and concise, um, specific to you know, what you're applying for. Think about bullet points that are accurate and relevant. Um, personally, I think from a personal statement perspective, something that's cheesy or really not really relevant, I wouldn't bother putting it on. Something that is relevant and maybe would draw your attention to some point, yes, leave it on, but just keep it very clear. Keep it really simple, I guess. Uh, keep a very good chronological order of what you've done over the past few years and things like that. Do a spell check. Uh, make sure there aren't any major errors or major mistakes or anything, any lies on them because you will get quizzed on them eventually. Just keep it honest really, to be fair. General tips that I have are definitely the most important being structure. That is because if you see a CV and it's all jumbled up, it takes my time and I can't see any clear Know, progression so if you start with your most recent job first I can scroll down to the bottom and then work my way up to see where your clear progression has been within the company or whether you've switched sectors but I can see a clear progression or just see how your previous experience relates to the job that you've applied for. When you're going through the interview and CV process it's as important to be able to articulate the how you've achieved what you've achieved as it is to what you've achieved. This will enable you and the organisation to assess whether you, as two parties together, will be a good fit. Check the CV and lose, lose historical things that aren't, per, aren't pertinent to the job you're applying. So what's helped me in business is that I, I learned a dictum many years ago, which was uh, the Say It Out Loud test, that if you could uh, actually practice something not by writing it on paper, uh, not by just thinking about it, but actually presenting it out loud to somebody. And it's a technique that many actors use before they go on stage to test that they actually can, can perform it for themselves in the right way. Remember, different employers value different points, so cover as many of those points as possible to maximise your chances. Make it relevant to the audience. Answer the so what question. Where possible, include references. Explain what you've achieved and how you've achieved it. See how your content sounds by saying it out loud.